Right, to travel now, and whilst Debbie is off on her travels, I got to look at what makes Ireland the place to go. And the Emerald Isles tourism is absolutely booming. It attracted more than 10 million visitors last year. 30,000 of those were actually Kiwis. And the CEO of Tourism Ireland, Niall Gibbons, was here in New Zealand recently, so I sat down with him to find out what all the fuss is about. Ireland's buzzing city of Belfast and the nearby Causeway Coast have impressed Lonely Planet, named the number one region in the world to visit in 2018. And there's a lot more to the Emerald Isle. I mean, obviously you arrive into Dublin first, uh, but they are taking in all the sights and sounds. I mean, if you're in somewhere like Dublin, the Guinness Storehouse is a must. I mean, that's part of the, you know, the, 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 national, uh, the national drink almost, you know. Uh, but it's terrific. Uh, it attracts about 1.7 million visitors a year, and it's one like the world's leading tourist attractions that voted that last year. Um, I find people as well now increasingly taking in Belfast. I mean, that really has seen an amazing tourism renaissance uh, over the last number of years. Uh, walking tour of Belfast, really, really popular. We've got Titanic Belfast, which tells the story of the ship that, you know, sadly sunk 100 years ago, but the whole story of the communities that brought it together, that built it. And again, another you know, iconic uh, experience. It's very easy to get around, by the way. It's much smaller than New Zealand. You're probably talking about 350 miles from, from top to bottom and maybe, you know, 160, 170 from east to west. So very easy to get around. All main car hire companies there. Very good motorway network. Drive on the same side of the road, so it's very easy as well. So everything made easy for the, for the Kiwi traveller. But uh, I think what people will find most of all is that the, it's very easy to connect with Irish people. You get a very friendly and warm welcome. Um, very easy to get around. Lots of things to see and do. And uh, when you get out into the countryside, you get to see the real Ireland. And maybe the one the difference that Ireland has with New Zealand is that we have you know, a long, long history that, that's reflected there in some of the built heritage. So if you want to visit a castle, you know, that, that's you know, 800 years of history, you know, that's all there for you to see. Uh, if you want to do a driving route, we've got the Wild Atlantic Way, that's about sort of two and a half thousand kilometres of stunning scenery on the edge of the Atlantic, you know. Uh, great places to eat, great places to drink, so some you know, stunning seafood, which I know people here will be very attracted by, and uh, to wash it all down with a great pub, a visit to an Irish pub, uh, and uh, traditional Irish music as well, you know, that's really something that I think people find unique. Eating out at night time, uh, another pastime with family, friends for me is really important. And again, no matter what part of Ireland you go to, plenty of options. In Dublin, for example, you know, there's just a burgeoning restaurant scene uh, and a really good uh, Irish pub generally finishes off the night too. Some villages where you know the whole street is full of them, so there are plenty of options, and that is where I mean tourists particularly get a very, very warm and friendly welcome. You know, and plenty of great options for, for people to enjoy themselves. Ireland is the ideal destination to plan your cycle holiday. If you're in somewhere like Dublin City or Belfast, I mean, you have city bikes, you can just tire, uh, you can just, just cycle around the city yourself. But if you want to be a bit more adventurous, I mean, places like County Mayo, which on the west coast, or Waterford in the southeast, have got new greenways now, which sort of take you off the road, but you're still on the beaten track, so to speak. So you get to see the best of Ireland, I mean, the, the coastal routes, um, you know, in, in, a, in a sort of safe, um, confined space, so to speak. So if you want to walk or take the bike uh, on those trails, it's absolutely terrific. So I think the outdoors is something that people are getting very used to. The weather, by the way, in Ireland is a little bit like New Zealand as well, so it's a very, you know, it's, 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 it's all well suited to people who want to get out into the outdoors. Irish are also well famous for their hospitality and warmth towards visitors. You are likely to get asked, where are you from? Uh, what are you doing? How did you get there? You know, what are you enjoying? And you'll find you'll pick up a lot of tips as well. And if you're standing on a street corner with a map trying to find where you're going, people will talk to you and interrupt you. And I would do it myself even to go along to people, where are you looking for? Can I help you? Uh, people will find that sort of warmth and friendliness and it's very, very genuine. Despite it being on the other side of the world, the Irish feel a strong connection to New Zealand. I find it's like a second home to some extent. Mm. I mean, the warmth, the friendliness, the people, the stunning scenery, the unique culture that New Zealand has as well. We saw a joint performer, uh, a joint performance last night um, of, of Maori and uh, Irish uh, musicians, which was really inspiring, you know. And uh, I think you know the, the twist of culture is bringing them together is uh, what makes it special and unique. But it's remarkable to have two cultures that are so similar on the other side of the world. I think for a lot of people in this part of the world, I mean, to, to see Europe at some point is obviously a big ambition as well. Uh, and Ireland offers a very unique experience, uh, very distinct, uh, very different, and uh, it's somewhere that I think people should, really should now put on the list and get it up there to number one. Oh, don't you want to go now? And Ireland will be even easier to add into your itinerary with new airline arrivals by Qatar and Cathay starting June 2018. You can check out the website ireland.com if you're planning your next trip to Ireland or your first.